I've been waiting to talk about this topic in detail, but the past month has shown many people the pure destructive power that a virus can lay waste to on a population. But what I want to talk about today instead is the positive aspect of viruses, and specifically the silent paradigm shift going on in biotechnology right now that no one else is talking about while a few people, a few smart people, are quickly and quietly becoming unbelievably wealthy through this. I'm of course talking about the gene therapy revolution, with AAV gene therapies and CRISPR, and why I think that introduction and the inevitable widespread of that technology is really one of the greatest technological paradigm shifts since the invention of the computer. This is one that will make a new generation of aristocrats and wealthy people. By the end of this video, you'll see why, in my investments, I'm all in on gene therapies. So how gene therapies work, specifically AAV gene therapies, which stand for adeno-associated viruses, is that a beneficial virus, one that's designed and manufactured, is introduced into a patient's system, and as that virus spreads, it rewrites and corrects defective DNA as it goes along. And hopefully, by the time a patient has taken a full course of the viral load, previously debilitating genetic defects and the underlying cause of diseases are totally and permanently fixed. This is huge because, for the longest time, the pharma industry was criticized for only creating treatments and not cures. There were even accusations that the true cures for things such as cancer were being held back in secret, in order to make more money from treatments that people have to buy over and over and over. The truth is, though, that the cure for cancer, and now we're realizing almost every other disease as well, is here, it's coming, and it's in the form of gene therapy. So if you take this story on Twitter, for example, this young man who was afflicted with a debilitating and most certainly life-threatening muscular dystrophy disease, was cured. He's able to walk thanks to gene therapy, uh, and this cure was introduced to his body through some sessions with just an IV needle as he took in the virus. When you imagine a world where the deadliest and most difficult, rare, and destructive diseases are cured with a doctor's visit and an IV needle, you'll begin to understand the unlimited potential that gene therapy has. These are permanent cures that will take people out of hospital with no follow-up treatments, no follow-up medication, and previously uncurable diseases, it'll be possible to treat them from birth. The most incredible part of all of this is that it's not hype and it's not speculation. Gene therapies have already been approved in Europe by the European Medical Association and in the US by the FDA, and they've already changed real lives of real people. The even crazier thing is that, in the grand scheme of things, it's still early on in this technology. About only 20 gene therapies have even been approved worldwide, and in comparison to the thousands and thousands of pharmaceuticals and other therapies they will replace, trillions of dollars in medical cost savings from keeping people out of hospital and even out of the grave is waiting for us in the next decade. Hemophilia, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, Friedrich's ataxia, Fabry's disease, and others, they're all now within reach of solving, permanently. And hemophilia alone, the lifetime cost of someone who has hemophilia, a hemophilia patient, is $25 million across their life. I and mean, we're talking, during that time, countless hospital visits, doctor's visits, and all sorts of medical resources tied up in the process that could be devoted to other areas to help other people. A single permanent cure can wipe out this cost. And when you do the math, in hemophilia alone, $25 million per person, multiplied by many, many thousands of people, the numbers quickly become astronomical and awe-inspiring. So a few people have realized that we're on the cusp of one of the biggest medical shifts in our time, and I'm almost certain you don't want to be left behind. Gene therapy investing, as much as it's still in its infancy, has already made my life much freer and better. My investment chart account pretty much looks like this, and truthfully, during this time, I mostly was in safe preferred stocks and bonds, because I was spooked about a potential recession. The gene therapy investments I made, which actually at the time I think were less than 30% of my portfolio, allowed me to travel the world and become financially free. And as much as it's made my investment accounts blow up in value, there still, again, are very few gene therapies approved worldwide, but it's important to remember that there are more on their way and soon. But I think the more you wait, the more other people will start to realize the hopelessly primitive nature of conventional pharmaceuticals. If you think about it, conventional pharmaceuticals barely and haphazardly cover up the symptoms of diseases, and they almost never treat the cause. And as that happens, I think people will shift their investments accordingly. Some of you that play your cards right and invest well during this revolution in biotechnology will be this generation's Bill Gates, Dale Carnegie's, and other sudden millionaires. The truth of the matter is that governments react slower than as science advances. So for example, as gene therapy discoveries are rocketing forward, only a few dozen are approved for use right now. So while the government waits and sees what will happen, this is the chance to take part and build up your investment positions, if you are so inclined. The fact of the matter is that the revolution, this revolution in technology, is going to happen with or without you. So you might as well take a small part in it by investing, if you do your proper due diligence. One important thing to remember though is that similar to the introduction of cell phones, not every company in this space is guaranteed to succeed. 
So for example, if you had invested in BlackBerry early on, your instincts about the technology would have been right, but wrong about which company to invest in. So my plan is in future videos, I'll be going over specific gene therapies I'm interested in, I find intriguing, and I want to share on this channel. If you want to join like-minded investors discussing topics like these at a high level, join my Discord. Make sure you're subscribed for more videos.